taking a ride around Mark's farm here. Beautiful, beautiful area. This would be fun. Here at the Miss Campus. You can already see how much has come up since uh, this year. You planted this last fall or last spring? I planted it uh, a year ago, April. So it's coming up that much. It'll, it'll be at least six feet tall this year. And I go off to the right here. That way? Yep. Just follow my trail going through there.
bus going through this mud hole. All right, so you'll see I was a little bit dense. He wanted me to turn to the right after the puddle, and I wasn't sure if he wanted me just to go to the right edge of the puddle, but anyways, I went to the left, and I was supposed to go to the right, but was not a big deal. I mean, where was the closest building? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're way out. Uh, the river's right, right here, ain't it? Yep, yep the river's right there. I mean, we're way out here. That is cool. Wow. Well, my wife would like poking around here, except for the snakes. I suppose she's crumbling a little bit every day. Yeah, it's getting bad. I don't think I'd go exploring inside of it. No. I'll tell you in a minute. Man, listening to that engine rev makes me want to get back out in the Polaris again. This is a really good ride. Really, really, really wet stuff in his entire 300 and some acres we've got here. But anyways, I got one more clip here that's a pretty good one at the end. And stay tuned then for part two because I don't want to make this a 20 or 30 minute video. But I'll be working on part two immediately right after this one. So don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you guys for joining us on our adventures. Until next time, enjoy this last clip and I'll see you on the next go around. So from the edge of the field all the way to the river. Back in there about another two, three.